Well, something I, I think about is, um, well, Jesus' words, you know, he who is forgiven much loves much. Yeah, I read that just last week. Um, so, I mean, here all Christians have been forgiven, you know, the greatest debt that could exist. You've been forgiven a lot of much comparatively smaller debts in, in life, you know. Um, but they're, they they're kind of serve as a good example of what it feels like to just undeservingly, like, randomly be forgiven, you know? Um, and, it, like I said, the, the good things that you can get out uh, of hardship, you can, you can realize that you need to place your faith in God because it's out of your control. You can grow stronger and, and have a greater endurance to handle these things in the future, but also you can learn how to empathize and, and understand with other people. And so... For me, I, I think if I see someone struggling now, I realize that there's these three things that could, you know, three ways they could be facing this challenge. Uh, one way they might just say, you know, you got to put this in God's hands. I'll pray with you. I'll be here to comfort you. But uh, this is in God's hands. Um, we need to trust in him. Other times you might just have to be there and especially with newer converts or Christians who are weak and maybe facing addictions or something. And you just have to say, all right, I know it's not fun, but you got to do the work. You got to, Christianity has challenges. And I know that's not, it doesn't seem like a nice thing to say, but whether it's with kids or, or people who are having other problems in life, sometimes you get through hardships by working hard and, mm. and it makes you stronger. But then the third way is uh, realizing that, being there for somebody or just what might be a small sacrifice for you can completely change the situation for someone else. Hmm. Like $500 is still a lot of money, but you know, there are times in, in my life and, I, and I'm sure probably more to come where $500 for me is fun money or something, but for somebody else, it completely changes their, the course of their year and uh, whether they make it or break it. So it's good, it's good to remember those things that we live in a world where a lot of people are asking for handouts, but sometimes there are people that are just completely exhausting themselves through constant work and they're not asking for something, but they still need it. And so just to kind of be aware and looking out for people and understanding that, yeah, I know what that's like to be there. How can I help them? Hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. This clip came from an episode of our podcast, which we will have a link in the description below for you to watch the full thing, see more discussion about this topic and other topics.